public speaking. That's what we are discussing. See, conversation is different. Public speaking is different. Debate is different. Group discussion is different. So we need to understand what are those criteria which will make your speech interesting in public. Let's say that you have a photograph. You can laminate the photograph and put it in the wall. Just a photograph. You, your wife, your children, your parents. Right. But supposing you want to make it really attractive, catch the attention of people, then there are beautiful photo frames are available. If you go to a professional photographer studio, he will do certain things to make the photograph really attractive. There will be 100 photographs, but you will remember one definitely because the way it is presented. Similarly, when you go to a, a departmental stores, there are humdeen number of things. You may go for a toothpaste, for example. You want to go for a particular brand of a toothpaste, but you will end up buying a different type of brand first time because the way it is presented. Similarly, you are public speaking, you should make it presentable. Then how do you do that? Stories, quotations, anecdotes, jokes, your own life experiences. Right? All these things are very, very important. Now, you may not be able to uh, remember everything. I, at least I can say that for the past nearly 30 years, this is what I carry with me. These are all notes. You'll have, if you go to a departmental store, stationery store, they will give you um, a flashcard like this. You may keep it with you as a prompter so that you can decorate your speech. For example, here I've talked about Bidovan, completely deaf when he composed his masterpiece, The Ninth Symphony. Now, supposing I'm addressing a group of uh, students, this information is relevant. So I'll pick up from this card, what is that I'm going to speak? David Hartman, he went blind at eight years. His dream was to become a doctor, but no medical school admitted him, saying that no uh, visually challenged person had ever become a doctor. He goes on applying. Ultimately, Temple University admitted him. Then what he did, he uh, listed about 25, 26 medical books. He got them all, uh, uh, you know, um, audio taped. His mother used to read all that and he became a doctor at 27, the first ever visually challenged doctor. Now, so I have in Tamil, I have some Sanskrit, I have in Hindi, right? This is very, very useful to me. Now, you don't have to carry this in your uh, telephone. There are a lot of notes, uh, apps are available in your notebook pad you can store it every day you have to read something to make your speech presentable i hope you like this series of episodes on public speaking and if you have any uh, uh, information or if you want to know more about it you are most welcome to send a message to my number and i'll be happy to connect with you all the best